at you in your, in, your su- in your summer glory it's me Jill, so happy to have you Jill by the way um you're such we're, we're such good fans you're such a good singer performer and your new album modern age uh, okay. out August 18th we've been jamming to it it's so good Jill oh my god congratulations thank you oh that makes me feel good because yeah. not a lot of people have heard it yet so no it's great we've been listening to like all my love you know that you know on on, on, on hush to on repeat to the to the your key while we're dancing while we're painting the whole thing. So anyway. Awesome. So so what does summer in a release year look like for Jill Andrews? Gosh, I'm, right before this call, I was feeling so overwhelmed because school's getting ready to start. I have yeah. two kids and they're so there's a lot going on. I'm like, I do I sign my daughter up for fall soccer? I don't know. I'm oh. not here to take her to it. So <laughs> Uh, yeah. So there's just a lot happening. Um, and that's like, there's a lot going on just in my personal life, figuring all that stuff out. But then in my professional life, um, I'm just, I don't know, I'm, I'm working on, um, you know, practicing a ton for my live shows that are coming up and just making sure I know how to play all these great new songs. And, um, yeah, like visuals for my for my show too, which I've never done. I'm gonna have um, like a proje- a projector going while I'm yeah. playing, so I'm really excited yeah. about that. And a lot of coordination with the band, and I don't know, I'm gonna have a billboard, that kind of stuff. Just working on all kinds of shit. I love it, love it, Jill. But I, like so much admiration to you. First of all, just like from seeing my sister with her two nephews and mothers everywhere, just being a mother alone in this time, like massive respect. Like what you said, the school stuff. The, the softball leagues, like respect to mothers in general. And then you add all the artist bullshit. And I'm not even talking about the music, Jill. Yeah. I'm talking about the social media, the newsletters, oh, yeah. the, uh, the the promotions, you know, sitting, sitting right now, giving me 15 minutes, all this stuff, Jill, like, my God, like such admiration, like seriously, like how do you, how do you organize yourself, Jill? Uh, to-do lists are really important for me. I try the night before to just write everything that I need to do the next day on it. Because if I don't, I will wake up in the middle of the night and just- In cold sweats. Yeah, I'll just stress <laughs> because I'm like, okay, I don't, I have to do all this stuff and I ha- I'm trying to keep like a mental log of it all. And so um, it's good to write it down on paper for me. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. And this new album, Jill, I mean, it includes an incredible cast of characters, many of our friends of the show, like Ben Kramer of Old Sea Brigade and, and Becca Mankari, who just released uh, some great stuff as well. Oh, yeah. um, and, and you've worked with, like, Seth Abbott before, but is that one of the coolest things of being a musician, Jill, that you can just kind of pick up your phone, especially in Nashville here, and kind of be like, hey, guys, can you swing by Berry Hill? I got an idea. <laughs> yeah, it's it's pretty cool. I mean, there's endless talent in Nashville. It's just crazy, you know? So, yeah, I, I mean, at any point, if I'm just looking to my left or looking to my right, there's somebody amazing that I'm sure would play or sing or, what you know, do something cool in the uh, creative, in their creative way for my music if I just asked them to. So, yeah, it's 
it's awesome. And I have a lot of really talented friends too. So I'm really, really Lord, a fat. Is that, is, the, is there a part of you, Jill? I, I'm not a musician, you know, uh, but I, I have a lot of friends that are, but I'm always curious. Like I have a really good friend we, that she just rocked Newport uh, Folk Festival. She's 17 years old, guitarist, uh, Grace Powers. And, I, and I'm always wondering, is there a part of you as an artist that when like a 16, 17 year old comes up with a great voice or a great guitar or whatever it may be, is there like a healthy kind of like, wow, like maybe I should kind of step up my game or see what's going on? Is there like a little bit of insecurity that creeps in? Hmm. I think it's, yeah, I mean, let me think about that. I guess, you know, I think it's normal for everyone to kind of have insecurity. I think my insecurity is more with myself than it was it than it is with other people, you know, and it's it's kind of shame based. It's like, am I doing enough? Um, yeah. Am I working hard enough? Am I, you know, talking to the right people? Am I writing good enough lyrics? Are my melodies good enough? As opposed to like comparing myself with other people. I definitely find a lot of inspiration from other people. Sure. Um, but not as much competitiveness, I don't think. Right, right. And I love that about Nashville, but I'm always curious if there's a little bit, a little bit, a little bit of it. But yeah, I hear you. I hear you. And, uh, you know, Jill, you're about to hit the road. You, you know, you, you've talked about the show, the projections. You're, you're going to go to Europe. It's going to be great. Uh, actually, you're going to play like festivals like The Long Road, great festival over there. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, you've been playing shows for a minute. How has touring kind of evolved over time? Uh, especially, like you said, you have two kids running around. How, does it make it kind of like easier or harder? And I'm talking about, you know, just being away from home, just like missing them. Oh, it's definitely harder for sure. I mean, I, I've been touring since I was in my early 20s and I had nothing to lose. <laughs> you know, I really didn't. I had I I barely made any money, but I had no one to support. You know, I was sleeping on couches and walk in closets and just wherever I could lay my head at night. I was it was just crazy. And yeah. um, yeah, I didn't have any it was my full-time job, you know, I didn't have any better place to be besides, um, the middle, of, the middle of Texas on a Monday night or whatever, you know? Yeah. yeah I, I, I hear you. <laughs> but yeah, now it, now I have to kind of, I have to organize my time in a different way. I have to, um, I, and I want to, to, you know, I don't want to be gone all the time. So I'm not, um, I tour very strategically and um it is hard i will tell you just like yeah. le leading up to when i leave i was talking to my husband about this last night and he was like you always feel this way you always feel really really stressed and overwhelmed before you leave um with all the things and you feel like guilty and i do it's true and then when i leave i'm like it's like a big, a big breath of fresh air i'm like oh, my brain space yeah 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 it makes sense yeah, even though I'm out with a bunch of dudes, you know? <laughs> you know, because I, I've seen stuff. I, I've seen artists, Jill, that are mothers. Yeah. They play to 10,000 people and, you know, that whole energy, that whole vibrance. And they have a good time, but they come off stage. And they'll FaceTime their kids. Yeah. And that's another level. That's like another level of joy. It's incredible. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, it's wild. Um, you know, you got you got to wear all the hats as a as yeah. a parent. Um Got to wear them all. They're all important. And you do a damn good job at that, Jill. And um, let me ask you a little bit about the album because it's so good. First of all, let me ask you about the genesis of the album. I mean, you you went to the memorial uh, of a childhood friend. Uh, as that's a rumor on the streets, at least that's what they were saying here in the Gulch. Uh, that that's how it started. Um, is, is that how it happened? Basically, like tell us like about that moment. Take us in that room. Yeah. So um, a few years ago, one of my childhood friends passed away um, from addiction and we grew up in the same neighborhood. We were like so close in proximity to each other. We rode the bus together and I just I, I have known her since I was in second grade. And throughout the years, we kept in touch. I played at her wedding. I mean, just, you know, a close friend. And we we lost touch over the past you know the the years um getting closer to her death but um yeah she really she really had a hard a hard life and i um i went to johnson city where i grew up and i was surrounded by my old high school friends who i don't really see very much and 
um, surrounded by the beautiful mountains. And wa- I walked through my neighborhood and just, I really let it sink in because I was by myself and I didn't have anyone to distract me. And I just really let it sink in just the feelings that I had as a kid and just all those memories. And um, it was a really mixed bag of emotions, but I would say mostly I was just so grateful because I had I had such a good childhood. And I know that a lot of people can't say that, um, but I really can say that. I had so much freedom and it was just a period of time um, for independence for me. My, my parents really let me kind of roam around the neighborhood and, and make a lot of decisions myself and make a lot of mistakes too, you know? Um, and so this album is really a reflection, um, on how, (laughs) for me at least, how good it was back then and, and how simple it was. Um, and the reason that it's called modern age, it's kind of a, a reflection on where we are now looking back, but where we are now feels almost like it just feels futuristic to me because I would have never imagined all of the technological advances that we've yeah. seen in my lifetime, like yeah. the, um, AI, for instance, is a huge example. Um, and just everyone carrying an iPhone in their pocket just makes human interaction and human connectivity so different and so much harder um, to have like real uh, physical human interaction in the in the presence of people and you know I have kids I have a 14 year old and it's just really it makes me sad it makes me really sad to think you know he could have had it this way and now he has it this way and it just makes it makes it so much more complicated so that's that's where that's kind of the main theme of the album totally i mean like 80s babies and connection that's exactly right that's they're beautiful songs beautiful beautiful songs and like you know you're talking about raising your kids one of them 14 is there any 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 values jill that are within your control that you're trying to kind of like embark to them to your kids from when you grew up or is kind of just like arms in the air like nothing we can do oh yeah i mean he's driven crazy by (laughs) by my values and (laughs) my husband's values we um he he was telling me the other day that i was allergic to the internet um (laughs) so and i said no i'm not allergic to the internet but um there are a lot of pitfalls, you know, that come with the internet. It's not just all happy, happy stuff happening on the internet. There's a lot of, you know, crazy things out there. And so, yeah, I think, I think the main thing I, I love being outside and I love nature and I love slowing down and I, I really value quality time with people. And so I'm, I'm, I'm very much trying to, um, trying to pass on those values to my kids as much as possible, but it is not easy. It's not easy. It's not Jill, easy. <laughs> I mean, you're being so good with your time and I think you're going to play a song for us, but let me, let me ask you one more question, Jill. Um, I want to ask you about the everybody field. Yeah. Because you guys were so ahead of the curve. I think just listening to all your stuff the past few weeks. I mean, Megan McCormick, super good friend of ours. Nice. And she's blowing up now or like, she's like really doing new stuff. Do you ever look back and say like, man, what we did with Sam was, man, we were like special. We were ahead of the curve, you know. Yeah, I I think so. Um, when I was in the Everybody Fields, I think that um, we were pretty unique for the time, and I think we had a really special sound. Um, our voices mixed together was really unique, and it's unlike a lot of things, you know, yeah. that can happen because we're. <laughs> unique people so yeah it was it was a good time that's where I learned how to be a musician and how to write songs and how to tour and all that absolutely well Jill you're being so good with your time and you have to go to Target and after school shopping and start thinking of uh of all that good stuff so if but, you don't mind leaving us leaving us away with a song we'd be honored if you had the time yeah you're on my guitar thank you thank you Jill mm-hmm.
Tell me how you really feel now Last time I saw you You wouldn't tell anyone Does it even seem real now Old pictures of you To strangers that are See 